Okay, Paul, let's talk about the sort of dark side of religion and spirituality. Yeah. So um, <laughs> you, you work as a coach and also a hypnotherapist, working at NLP, lots of helping lots of people with sort of problems they have and issues yeah. they have. What are some of the sort of less positive or negative effects that you have seen of kind of spiritual belief systems that people have? Well, they re- I, I find they limit you. Um, people get trapped within those belief systems. Um, and I also find, uh, this might be quite controversial, but they, it makes people dishonest because they have to, to keep the belief going, they have to completely and utterly lie about, and, and about anything that contradicts or shows that that belief system may not be real. Um, and it, it makes lives out of us all. We've all done it. You know, I, I was trapped in that, those sorts of new agey sp- um, spiritual beliefs myself. Um, so you're even, not just talking about mainstream religion here. Yeah, you're talking okay, about and, religion oh, yeah, and, and religion. also the sort of new age yeah. and spiritual stuff. Yeah, and yeah. So, in religion, especially Catholicism, again, if I had a penny for every client who um, has been affected by Catholicism, I should thank. I should thank the Catholics for um, the constant supply of clients. Um, because I'd probably be doing something else, I expect. So it's quite controversial. So can you give an example of the kind of thing that you, that you see is directly related to someone's religious belief that you're kind of picking up the pieces of, essentially? Yeah, the guilt. I mean, it's, right. You know, guilt is one of the biggest things, I think, that leads towards uh, depression. Right. You know, it really rubs up the part of the brain, the limbic system, which is the emotional centre, really rubs it up. And to, for a person to constantly see the world as if they've done something wrong, um, it's, it's no life at all and it's not fair yeah. and yet you know um, religions like you know Catholicism really promote that you know it's a mm. really way of beating yourself up so and again it just picks away at people's self-esteem so again what my job then is to help people begin to re- I, I help them reframe it re- you know begin to see the world in a healthier way and um, you know it's not about me in, enforcing any type of atheistic belief on them it's about them discovering from themselves that they can think and see something differently by focusing on being the best person they can be you know and if they've done that then it's a win-win whether there's a heaven or a hell or yeah. you know any other concept i've heard you say that's sort of your version of spirituality just being the best person you can just be, be the right? best person you can be the yeah. rest of it's a story and they're limiting stories at that there's no story um, and no belief system that actually is that good to make you that free when in re- reality they all have their rules and regulations that you should be sticking to